Yes, and, and I had that experience. I was actually, one of my key things is, I feel like I'm in a rut. Like, I, I feel like I've, in the past, been very turned in, tuned in, turned in, tapped on. And I feel, lately, I get stuck in that step one moment. And I, I, I'm just grumpy. And, and I'm Well, here's the thing. The grumpier you are, the better we like it. <laughs> and here's why. Please. Because, because that means you've expanded a great deal. And your extreme grumpiness means you're just not keeping up with your expansion. And the expansion is really pleasing because we know eventually you will keep up with it. It's just a matter of time. Really, you know what, you know what it's a matter of? How long you're willing to be grumpy. Mm, that's good. Because, because if you say, well, I'm grumpy because these things are happening, then you feel powerless mm -hmm. because you can't control those things. So my grumpiness is just a response to these uncontrollable things. But when you hear us and we say, you can be grumpy or not because you don't have to think about things that make you grumpy. You have the ability to focus your mind. You're not stuck on that one radio channel. You could choose to feel better. And if you would make how you feel your priority, so you say, well, I'm grumpy. Well, when I'm grumpy, what's on the other side of that? What's it, when you know what you don't want, which is grumpy. What is it that you know that you do want? I want to feel fun. I want to be happy. I want, I want to skip when I walk. I, I want to, I want to feel in love with life. I want to feel good. I want to be who I am. So when you put it into that context, then now you have power. Yes. Because you do not have to focus on or think about things that make you grumpy. You don't. Yes, and I, I want all of that. And, and specifically, what I really want is I want inspiration. I want to wake up in the morning excited about what's next. I want Well, to inspiration's be up here waiting for you. Mm -hmm. But you want inspiration to come and get you, and it won't. You want inspiration to leave the vortex. Oh, there he is. <laughs> the grumpy one. <laughs> He's over there. Go get him. I'm not going. Go get him. I'm not going. I'm not going to go get him. He needs to crawl out of his grumpy corner if he wants to, if he wants inspiration. I'm not going after him. Now it's not quite that blatant. It's I love him so much. I cannot go get him. I'm so in tune with source energy. I cannot go and get him. I am liquid love. I am pure positive energy. I cannot go there. I am not that. I'll just shine brighter. Maybe grumpy will see me. It's more like that. It's more like that. You see, and even and eventually Eventually, this is the way it works. Eventually, when, when you're grumpy, so you ask for that, and you're grumpy, so you ask for that, and you're grumpy, so you ask for this, this light gets brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter until eventually you can't miss it. But the problem is, so you have a high and happy moment. Ooh, you say, <laughs> you told us that, that I couldn't maintain it. It's because you've been practicing grumpy more than that, you see. So the way we like to explain this to you is you're, you're not feeling good. You're nowhere near the vortex. You're not feeling good. You're nowhere near the vortex. When you get over there in the vicinity of hope, you're near, you're near enough to the vortex that the vortex will take you in. And as the vortex takes you in, you'll have that lift. The vort and once, once you've lingered in hope for a while, the vortex will take you in and show you things until you believe. And once you're believing pretty steadily, then you know, you see. But the vortex can't reach all of the way over there to get you. It's strong so and it will keep is... calling you. That's what sometimes people have quantum leaps and a whole lot of people, we want you to know a whole lot of people have their death experience from despair and the vortex takes them in <sighs> and the relief and the exaltation and the joy, it is indescribable. But again, we don't think you should have to croak to get into the vortex. And to get into the vortex is really through my releasing of resistance. It is. Letting go of and, and that's through the choosing of better feeling thoughts. And that's through the awareness that your emotions are the key. You have to let go of controlling uncontrollable things and control what you can control. We, our favorite story about this, a woman said, my body hurts. How can I think positively when my body hurts so much? She had arthritis in her hips. She said to us and we said, can you feel the difference between feeling physical pain in your body and feeling fear as an emotion and having physical pain in your body and feeling hope? 
because the the vibrational variance between fear and hope is the difference between recovery or not you see so you want to make this em an emotional journey we want you to go into the vortex because it feels good to go in the direction of it and it feels wonderful to be there we want it to be an emotional journey do you know that every single thing that you want this magnificent relationship you're seeking you know why you want it you think it'll feel good when you get there mm -hmm. Abundance, you know why you want it? You think it will feel good to feel all of that freedom, getting to choose? Physical vitality, you know why you want it? Because you think it will feel good. Everything that you want, every single thing you want, whether it's a material object, a state of being, a relationship, a situation, a circumstance, an event, everything that you or anyone ever has or ever will want is for one reason only. You think you will feel better in the having of it. So here we are saying, you can feel better now. Now I can't, I got to solve all these problems. We say, you got to let go of that. You cannot control them. That's what's going on so much with the physical world. It's not new. It's just more intense now than it has ever been. People say, once I control that condition, then I will feel better. And we say, how's that working out? Because when you focus upon the condition that you want to control, it just gets bigger because that's the way law of attraction works when in this universe of attraction it's only inclusion based so when you look at what you want and say yes to it you include it in your vibration when you look at what you don't want and shout no you include it in your vibration there's no such thing as no so you've got to decide what you're saying yes to I'm saying yes to feeling good I'm saying yes to feeling better I'm saying yes to letting it be easier a while back Esther said I'm saying yes to ease and flow I'm saying yes to ease and flow